right, so it's given us an error message here. It says channel description cannot be empty or greater than 120 characters. Uh, I'm not sure if it's greater than 120 characters, but what I did, I pasted it in there. Um, so it probably did not recognize the text. Let me just quickly... Let's just try to make it shorter. Let's just leave it at that. It's short. And most of these restrictions are not set by the script itself. Um, there are actual restrictions that um, RSS feed um, RSS feed rules, or, or I don't know how to explain it. Basically, set rules for RSS feeds that are out there. Um, what what an RSS feed is expected to contain and stuff. So let's just try this again. And there we go. There we have it. And we just created our first RSS feed. And like I was telling you, this RSS feed would contain a total of 300 URLs. That's pretty crazy, eh? Let's quickly copy this here. And let's open that up in Mozilla. It's right here. I never use Mozilla, but um, it allows you to take a look at the RSS feed. Oh, come on, here we go. Here we go. So here we go. Here are all the feeds within this feed. And so basically what happens when you submit this feed, you ping it, whatever, um, search engines will crawl the feed and come across all these feeds and it will um, read all these feeds, go through all these feeds and uh, I'm just click on here one more time and as you can see here's where the actual backlinks are so they are on level 2 so this allows you to have a huge number of um, URLs pinged uh, or indexed with one submission you know um, because the search engines are, are hungry beasts, they crawl through everything. So if you put them, uh, put a bunch of RSS feeds in front of them, um, it'll they will go through it and, uh, and try to find new pages, um, something solid that they can index and, and and display in their search results. So, anyways, that's pretty much how it works. And just to give you an idea here, um, as you can see right here, it used my keywords and it mixed it up with some random text which I will show you later that you can uh, change around yourself as well so in this case for example a trusted site site for Kelowna social marketing and it, it just randomly put some text in there um, just to make everything appear more more natural and more real more genuine to the search engines okay and then let's just quickly go back here and let's click on manage feeds so as you can see right here, it gives you more details on the feed. You can view the feed here. You can edit it. You can even delete it. Um, it's really up to you. Let's click on here, global settings. And here you can type in random titles. Um, and and it's in this format too here, it's a randomization syntax. Um, like Details are pretty much right up here. Um, how you can spin your uh, titles as well as have variations of uh, different titles um, listed here and it gives you exact details here personally I would not mess with it uh, unless you <laughs> want to be 100% unique out there and, and but in my opinion it's a waste of your time so and yeah like I was telling you earlier uh, here you can add your own settings your own categories and the same thing as I mentioned with the titles here you can uh, edit the uh, randomization text that it uses um, in this box right here so it's, it's pretty cool it makes some very nice RSS feeds um, very powerful none of the no RSS feed will be the same as the other one um, yeah it's everything is 100% unique in just with these spinning features and everything that we have in place okay okay so that was 
pretty much all there is to setting up a campaign, how getting everything installed, um, pretty much starting from scratch. Um, and just to give you an idea, I've never actually installed this script myself before. The first time I did it was just now on video. I generally have my programmer do it. Um, but to prove how easy and how simple it really is, I like to do it myself. And I like to videotape myself. Um, so if I make mistakes, you know, you can see <laughs> I'm not a professional either at this. Um, I'm fairly, fairly new when it comes to programming. I actually don't do any programming. Um, so if I can do it, you can do it. That's pretty much all I'm trying to say. So let's go back here to manage feeds. Let's click on view feed. Okay, so it gave me the feed. And I'm, I'm using Chrome, so it doesn't, um, doesn't read the feed. It just gives me the link to it which is okay. And now let's go to feed burner. And uh, you will see the links for that. Actually, let me just show you. I'll put the links right in here for you so, um, to everything that I talk about here, just so you have easy access to it. Um, so let's go to feed burner, like I was telling you. And let's paste in our RSS feed link in here. And let's click on next. And there we go, that shows me the title. Let's hope this works. It's probably taken already. No, it's available. And there we are. Let's just right click on it, copy link address. And let's click next. Um, you can choose whatever options you want here. And there we go, it was successfully, a page was successfully created. And just to give you an idea what the page looks like, it's right here. Now what we do, let's go to Pingler, and again, you'll have the link down here. We'll go to Pingler. And what we can do here, we can do a one-time ping, um, but what I highly recommend is um, signing up. It's $2.99 a month. It's very cheap, very affordable, and um, absolutely worth every penny. Um, just sign up, a couple dollars. Uh, sign up and what they will do, they will automatically ping your feeds for you um, every three days or however often you want them to. Um, so that's what I have done and that's what I would highly recommend too. Um, let's just quickly log in here and what I will do here, let's click on add new URL. Oh, I've already exceeded my account limits here. Okay, what I'll have to do, I'll have to upgrade here. Okay, so now that I have more room, um, let's just add a new URL. And in this case, let's just paste in the feed burner URL from the page that was just created for us here. Uh, let's paste, put in that URL and let's type in Kelowna SEO services. There we go. And let's scroll down and let's select marketing. And as you can see here, I can select, it'll ping this feed every three days for me. And it will submit it to, I don't know, I think there's about 80 or 90 different RSS feed sites here. So it really is worth the couple dollars that you pay for this, okay? And let's just click Add Domain, and just like that, it has been added. Now what we want to do, let's go back to this page right here, and let's get the link for our RSS feed once again. Just copy that and let's go in here and let's also add that RSS feed to Pingler here. And again we'll use the and let's go down here. Marketing and let's add that domain. And just like that, it's that straightforward. I use this for all of my sites, for my client sites. Um, absolutely love Pingler, highly recommend it. Um, even if you get just the basic package to start with, um, I highly recommend it, I couldn't recommend them enough. So, but yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. And now you're set up to, um, yeah, drive a lot of link juice to your site. Now, just to maybe make a note of it, um, what I've done sometimes even is I've built backlinks to this feed burner URL just to really help me drive a lot of link juice 
back to my uh, backlinks through my backlinks um, then to my site okay um, yeah I don't know what else to tell you here it's it's really very straightforward um, it's a good way quick way to uh, push the search engines through your backlinks to your site uh, which will make them rank your site higher as a result as a direct result because um, they all of a sudden realize that how important your site is that all these sites are linking to you so um, yeah that's pretty much all there is to it and again um, it's very straightforward to use if you do have any questions though um, do not hesitate to contact either myself or my staff through the information that the contact information that you will be given and um, yeah I hope you enjoy this script and uh, make the most out of it um, yeah, if you haven't done so already, I would also recommend uh, that you upgrade and uh, get the other script that I have on the Warrior Forum right now, um, the Auto Pinger script. And I'll just quickly show that one to you here as well, as you can see right here. And it does pretty much exactly what this script does, but it takes it to a whole new level. But if you combine this script with this script, um, it's almost lethal what you can do with it so it's very 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 powerful and um, yeah I, I, I wish you all the best in your SEO efforts and uh, getting your site index and getting it ranking high and uh, yeah thank you very much again for purchasing this um, this little script